It's expected to be a pivotal day in the courtroom as the state could rest its case against Alec Murdoch. The former attorney accused of killing his wife and son a year and a half ago has maintained his innocence. He says he was visiting his parents when Maggie and Paul were gunned down on their hunting property in rural Colleton County. Nick Reagan is live from the courthouse this morning. So Nick, how close are we to the end of this trial? Guys, it is day 18 of the Alec Murdoch trial, and the state said earlier in the week that they could be done calling witnesses as soon as today. Once they do rest their case, the defense, they'll be able to call their own witnesses, which they say could be a process that takes about a week. But both the defense and the state, they say that they expect that this case will be in the hands of the jury by the end of next week. Now, yesterday began with the defense cross-examining the forensic pathologist who did the autopsies of Paul and Maggie. That was Dr. Ellen Reamer. Also on the stand was Maggie's sister. She testified to encouraging Maggie to go stay at the hunting property with Alec the night of the murders. She said she was confused that Alec's main concern after the shooting was to clear Paul's name in the boat crash case and not finding the person responsible for the homicides. I think everybody was afraid and um, Alec didn't seem to be afraid. Now, the defense also opened the door for the suicide for hire case to be used. Uh, Murdoch is accused of asking a man named Curtis Eddie Smith to shoot him just months after the double murders so that his remaining son could collect his life insurance policy. There's been a lot of speculation about if the suicide for hire case would be admissible and whether or not Smith might testify. Now that the judge has allowed testimony on the incident, we may yet see him take the stand. Now, while the, the state could rest today, uh, they still have some work to do. There's plenty of room in their argument for folks to poke holes as they try and stitch these tiny details together to uh, line up motive, means, and opportunity. The courtroom will open again today at 9.30. The jury will come back to the courtroom at 10.30. Aisha, Katie, back to you guys.